Today we're going to be talking about something we mentioned in our previous video. One of the things that's so critically important, especially later into the summer, into the fall, and if you have clear water or clearer water, are those extra long casts. And at first it may seem like that's pretty easy to do, just throw it a little bit harder, right? Well, you need to get your entire body into the cast, and that's what I want to talk about today. But before I get into that, let's go over equipment. So when I'm making extra long casts, especially with crankbaits, make sure you have a crankbait rod, okay, a composite rod. This one is seven foot six. I even like to go up to a seven foot ten because I can get a lot more leverage that way. And the composite rod with a medium, or I should say a moderate uh, type of an action in a medium power rating or even a medium heavy power rating but if it's that composite rod are so important because you get a whole lot more flex up here in the tip okay you just get a lot more whip when you're using that particular bait um, as far as your braking system put it as free or as loose as you are comfortable with clearly when we're trying to throw a long ways if we have it too loose we know what that could do. So as free as you are comfortable with, other things that we can do is go ahead and get a reel that has an extra wide spool to it. This one does not, but you can get reels on the marketplace that have a wide spool to hold more line, and go ahead and fill that line towards the top of the spool, okay? Get it up there quite a bit, get as much line on there as you are comfortable with. That's all going to help in that extra long cast. Now, one thing that we also wanna do a lot of times when we are regularly casting or a normal cast is we may put that lure, you know, six to eight inches down here from the rod tip when we go ahead and throw. And, you know, obviously that works fine, but we're trying to get that extra distance. It's not a bad idea to put a lot more line out there. It's very similar to, um, I guess you would say lobbing a Carolina rig, right? Or dealing with a long leader on a drop shot. Put some extra line out there and then on your back swing, make sure that the lure is all the way back. You feel it go all the way back before you come forward. You don't want it to snap, okay? You don't want it to snap on there because you could bust your line, cause problems. So a little more line is gonna get you a whole lot more pendulum action. And then the real critical factor is here is it can't be all arms. You've got to get some of your hip rotation into this. So if I'm gonna make a long cast right now, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and come back. I'm gonna kinda angle almost like a pitcher would in baseball. All right, and I'm gonna come back and then I'm gonna bring that hip around. Okay, rotate that hip around. And when I was doing this a little bit earlier today, it was giving me, when I was doing a hip rotation like this and a little bit more line on the backswing, I was getting anywhere from 15 to 20 yards more on my cast. So once again, I'm gonna go ahead and come back, make sure it's all the way there, and then step into it. And I am easily throwing 50 plus yards doing this, okay? I tested it, uh, like I said a little bit earlier, and I had consecutive casts that were all over that 50 yard range. And you may be thinking, well, Steve, how do you know for sure? Just go ahead and take whatever reel that you are using and the inches of recovery per turn, and you can figure it out. This particular reel is a 7.1, and it's rated right at 28 inches of line recovery per turn. So you can find out exactly how far you are throwing. It takes just a little bit of practice and I promise you, you are going to get much more yardage on your cast. And depending on the lure that you're throwing, you know, this is not that heavy. If you're using a deep diving crankbait, you're gonna get a ton of distance. Uh, some of your salt impregnated soft jerk baits, you can throw those things a mile and getting that extra distance, keeping distance between you and the fish that you're targeting is going to get you more bites over the course of a day. If you have questions, comments, other tips that you'd like to share with our viewers, drop them down below. And hey, make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life for the bass fishing life. I'm your host, Steve Rogers.